In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. The grace and peace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. My friends, as we're gathering on this Friday of the fourth week of Lent, we continue this time in the desert. In fact, it's a, a different type of desert, isn't it? We become aware of God's great love for us and our own need for God's mercy as we acknowledge our sins. Lord Jesus, you came to call sinners. Lord, have mercy. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. O oh God, who have prepared fitting helps for us in our weakness, grant we pray that we may receive their healing effects with joy and reflect them in a holy way of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We listen now to the Word of God. A reading from the Book of Wisdom. The wicked said among themselves, thinking not aright, let us beset the just one, because he is obnoxious to us. He sets himself against our doings, reproaches us for transgressions of the law, and charges us with violations of our training. He professes to have a knowledge of God and styles himself a child of the Lord. To, to us, he is the censure of our thoughts. Merely to see him is a hardship for us because his life is not like that of others and different are his ways. He judges us debased. He holds aloof from our paths as from things impure. He calls blessed the destiny of the just and boasts that God is his father. Let us see whether his words be true. Let us find out what will happen to him. For if the just one be the son of God, he will defend him and deliver him from the hands of his foes. With revilement and torture, let him let us put him to the test that we may have proof of his gentleness and try his patience. Let us condemn him to a shameful death. For according to his own words, God will take care of him. These were their thoughts, but they erred, for their wickedness blinded them and they knew not the hidden counsels of God. Neither did they count on a recompense of holiness, nor discern the innocent soul's reward. The word of the Lord. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. The Lord confronts the evildoers to destroy the remembrance of him from the earth. When the just cry out, the Lord hears them, and from all their distress, he rescues them. The Lord is close 
to the brokenhearted. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted, and those who are crushed in spirit he saves. Many are the troubles of the just man, but out of them the Lord delivers. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. He watches over all his bones. Not one of them shall be broken. The Lord redeems the lives of his servants. No one incurs guilt who takes refuge in him. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. One does not live on bread alone, but on every word that comes forth from the mouth of God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus moved about within Galilee. He did not wish to travel within Judea because the Jewish feast of tabernacles was near. But when his brothers had gone up to the feast, he himself also went up, not openly, but as it were, in secret. Some of the inhabitants of Jerusalem said, Is he not the one they are trying to kill? And look, he is speaking openly. And they saw, and they say nothing to him. Could the authorities have realized that he is the Christ? But we know where he is from. When the Christ comes, no one will know where he is from. So Jesus cried out in the temple area as he was teaching, You know me, and also know where I am from. Yet I did not come on my own, but the one who sent me, whom you do not know, is true. I know him because I am from him and he sent me. So they tried to arrest him, but no one had laid a hand upon him because his hour had not yet come. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. So here we are in our fifth day of shelter at home, reminded that the Lord is close to the brokenhearted, reminded that God loves us and is with us and will protect us no matter what happens. You know, doing these video masses is interesting. It's interesting because there are a lot of people out there watching. And as you can imagine, everyone has an opinion or a suggestion how to make them better. And of course, we're doing our best. And it's fun to hear what people have said. I had a couple people say to me this week that maybe we should make them a little more fun. Maybe we should be a little more jovial. Well, I suppose we can be fun and jovial. Because why? Because we know, my friends, that God is so much with us. I love the confidence that Jesus shows in today's gospel. He trusted that God would take care of him, that God would give him what he needs. 
he trusted that God was with him, for him. He really was courageous in the midst of a trying time. So I guess that's the invitation to you and to me, is to really trust. When we trust, we can be confident. When we trust, we can laugh at the days to come. We can have a little fun in the midst of all of this. People are doing so, you know, how we're having virtual masses. People are having virtual family parties, birthday parties, and cocktail hours. It's quite amazing. People are doing great things. Maybe if you have some good ideas how we, as a powerful Saints Joseph and Francis Xavier community, can show our strength, our courage, and our faith together, send me some ideas. You know, this week we started praying the rosary three times a day. First time in my life praying a conference call rosary. It's pretty great. Creative ways to experience love, mercy, and community. Important as we go forward is to, to keep a sense of humor. I'm glad my friends reminded me of that. Keep a sense of humor. Trust that God is with us. Be good to one another. Patient with one another. Loving with one another. Be generous with what we have to support the works of the church and to care for the poor. That's what we do as we build community. As we come today, let's pray, you and I, that we can have that great confidence because the Lord is close to the brokenhearted. Having heard God's holy word, trusting that God is close to us in our homes, in living rooms, wherever we watch this, on the phone, listening to it as we're doing our exercise, whatever it is, that we're celebrating Mass together and we come at this part of the Mass and we pray for our needs. We pray for the needs of the church and of the world. Let's pray for our church, especially young people in our church for an increase in vocations to the priesthood and religious life that more and more young people will say yes to God's call and be supported as they do so. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for peace in these times of close confinement in our homes, working from home, studying from home. Let's pray that we have peace in our home, for patience with one another, for peace in our world, for an end to violence, for respect for life in all its stages. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for all those infected and affected by this coronavirus and all who are working tirelessly to keep us healthy, safe and sound, that the sick may be swiftly healed and that those who are caring for the sick may be given gifts of patience and wisdom and understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let's pray for those who have died the hundreds, thousands who have died from this virus, people who have died alone, that they may be sharing in the glory of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And today we celebrate this Mass for these following intentions. We pray for Calvin Ramirez, James Ward, Martin Lee, and John Joseph Bartoletti. We pray also for members of our own community who need special help at this time. I pray in a special way for Briar the Brave. 
we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty and eternal God, we thank you for showing us that you love us. We ask that you hear us and answer us according to your holy will. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just as we prepare the altar for the Eucharist and we offer this Mass for your intentions and the special intentions mentioned, this is the time of Mass where we offer what we have to our God. I remember to be generous, to help our parish to continue by signing up for Give Central and to help our food pantry. You can do that there too. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever by the mystery of this water. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, my friends, that this your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, our almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. May this sacrifice, almighty God, cleanse us by its mighty power and lead us to approach its source with ever greater purity. Through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father of mercies and faithful God. For you have given us Jesus Christ, your Son, as our Lord and Redeemer. He always showed compassion for children and for the poor, for the sick and for sinners. And he became a neighbor to the oppressed and the afflicted. By word and deed, he announced to the world that you are our father and that you care for all your sons and daughters. And so with the angels and the saints, we exalt and bless your name and sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy and to be glorified, O God who love the human race and who always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst when we are gathered by his love and when, as once for the disciples, so now for us, he opens the scriptures and breaks the bread. Therefore, Father most merciful, we ask that you send forth your Holy Spirit to sanctify these gifts of bread and wine, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. On the day before he was to suffer, on the night of the Last Supper, he took bread and said the blessing. He broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, gave you thanks, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, Holy Father, as we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, whom you led through his passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection, in whom you have seated at your right hand, we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again. And we offer you the bread of life and the chalice of blessing. Look with favor on the oblation of your church in which we show forth the paschal sacrifice of Christ that has been handed on to us and grant that by the power of the spirit of your love we may be counted now and until the day of eternity among the members of your Son, in whose body and blood we have communion. Bring your church, O Lord, to perfect faith and charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Blaise, our Bishop, with all bishops, priests, deacons, and religious, and the entire people you have made your own. Open our eyes to the needs of our brothers and sisters. Inspire in us words and actions to comfort those who labor and are burdened. Make us serve them truly. After the example of Christ and at his command. And may your church stand as a living witness to truth and freedom, to peace and justice, that all people may be raised up to a new hope. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the peace of your Christ and all the dead whose faith you alone have known. Admit them to rejoice in the light of your face and in the resurrection. Give them the fullness of life. Grant also to us, your children, when our earthly pilgrimage is done, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place and live with you forever. There in communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the apostles and martyrs, with St. Francis Xavier, and with all the saints, we shall praise and exalt you through Jesus Christ, your Son, through him and with him and in him, O oh God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope 
and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer one another in whatever way we can through a moment of silence, through after mass, make a message of an email, offer a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word and my soul shall be healed. My friends, as I receive this Holy Communion, standing alone in St. Joseph's Church, unite with me in a spiritual communion. The real presence of Christ comes to heal the real presence of Christ comes to give us hope. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that as we pass from old to new, so with former ways left behind, we may be renewed in holiness of mind through Christ our Lord. Quick announcement time, a reminder if there's anything you need, feel free to shoot me an email at wwatts at ssjfx.org and we'll arrange with this great team of over 50 folks who are willing to lay a, lend a hand. We'll help you out. We'll help you with whatever non-urgent need you have. I've mentioned before how to get a hold of me if it is urgent, but the email's great. It'll come to me right away as well. We're filming from a different place these days because we are now sheltering in place. Yesterday you saw the Mass from Father Matt from his own home chapel. Today here I am alone at St. Joseph's. It's urgent and important that you shelter in place, that we do as we're asked so that we can do our part to save lives. But we're connected. We're together. You're loved. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace to love and to serve the Lord.